back to Contest of Speed and you've joined us at the elite point, the pinnacle of Contest of Speed uh, in which every single driver in this tier is not only fast but is not using any assist which is incredible really, uh, I, can't, I can't say I can do that myself but uh, well done to them and the, the quick while they do it, put a lot of practice into this so uh, should be a good race tonight around Britain, one of the best tracks on the calendar this season, so uh, looking forward to it. Tonight I'm joined with two commentators, uh, I'm joined with Connell, who is a regular Hello. on the elite elite, elite tier, so he'll, he'll be the the eyes and ears and mouth, probably, uh, so welcome Connell. Hello, how things? Uh, and I'm also joined with my fellow teammate in the EU tier 1. He got his first podium in uh, uh, last night for this season yeah. in Tier 1. Uh, it's Alp. Yeah, hello guys. Nice to be here. And as we see people going out for their first flying laps. Indeed we do. And uh, I don't know about you two, but I'm expecting some great racing tonight. Uh, re real masterclass of a performance. Uh, I've got to say a lot. A lot of the boys in this tier we are, of course, partnered with the IGK group, uh, so quite a few are are in this tier and are uh, going to show IGK. off their skills. IGK Juice there on the lap now, his first car out, first car start is his uh, first flying lap. Yeah, we'll move over to Yoast, I think it's pronounced. That might be completely wrong, I don't know, you'll have to let me know. It's either or anyway. Yeah, it's, it's either or. The Alpha. The Alpha. As he uh, rounds the last corner to start his lap uh, on the pitch straight into the fast right under of Abbey. Which then turns into the first braking zone of the track. Probably one of the heaviest uh, into this uh, twisting right left section. Uh, and down the Wellington Strait as we go into a uh, Luffield and a uh, Woodcut. Have to say, very tidy looking lap from Yo so far. Ooh, just a snap of oversteer and exit there. Of course, drivers are not running uh, traction control in this tier, so very difficult to keep the car under traction. Uh, it is very difficult track for traction. Um, He's so. on board with uh, Johnson, he's had a pretty good, good lap as well at the moment. Oh, and Jost just sliding through Maggots and Beckett's there. I'm not sure that was intentional, but um, very, very, very cautious, has to, has to be said. He seems to be very slidey, does Jost. So, uh, just a banker, you got to remember. Uh, but we'll see what the first time of the session is as he crosses the line and sets a 126.7. That's a very decent banker lap time. Uh, Jonathan, it was uh, said. Wow. Jonathan just. Wow. Slight, just, slight, slight improvement there, I tell you. Uh, just, just very slight improvement. That's, um, that's embarrassing for me. That's I probably. Guess better than I could do. <laughs> I, I'd get a 26-1 if I caught half the track and had a spaceship, like the fans were Fernando Alonso, a rocket ship on the back of the car, I wouldn't even get that time. Yeah, Jonathan setting an early standard, has to be said, uh, for the other drivers to follow with a very Jeez. good bank lap, uh, almost reaching into the 125s, which is the time that we'll be expecting to see tonight. Uh, most drivers will hopefully be in the 125s. We have uh, Monsieur Lewis Welsh, wherever, wherever he's from, uh, on his yeah. <laughs> slap now. And as yeah, you know, Lewis... Who oh, is he on a lap? The Elite 2. I he's believe so. And obviously Lewis okay. is an alien. So, he... Uh, Jonathan, the very good 26 one there. Um, that's utterly fantastic, to be honest. By my money, a filthy tier three peasant. So, <laughs> can't say much in terms of how good or bad laps are here. Yeah, 
Yeah, Jonathan definitely setting the standard there, but this guy, Lewis Welch. Lewis goes a bit wide, going into Cobbs and it was Into maggots and peanuts. Or maggots. I think that may. <laughs> May have invalidated his lap time, but he's still going for it, so we'll see oh, what he no, can Lewis do. Is still, no, no red track yet, he's still alive. There's a, a Ferrari or Alpha there behind him. Yeah, as he goes through. He runs a bit wide into Stowe. He's going into the hairpins, into the chicane now. Takes all the curb short shifts up, short. Set to 126.7. Yeah, it has to be said, I think he invalidated his first run. Uh, he, yeah, he had two a 136 laps on his first one, I think. Uh, a 136 was his first lap, so um, definitely invalidated. So we'll switch over Tired. to Zach, who is uh, just starting his, his laps. We'll stay with him, see what he can do. F1 legend also on a lap right behind him. Yeah, right behind him, which is interesting to see, actually. Uh, trying to... they're, a bit, they're, a bit, they're a bit close for comfort, the two of them. I personally wouldn't want to be that close, anyway. Oh, he might well, be trying to get slipstream, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, he's he very close, though. So. The thing is, with him being that close, it might distract him into breaking yes, zones yeah. and uh, dirty air through maggots and beckets. Uh, especially, I, I, I will be would. difficult. And it yeah, will I, certainly I, distract Zach as well, because there will be a red air right behind yeah, him all the time. Awesome. So we'll stay on board with these two as they go past the old pit straight, uh, just after World Cup, and into Cops, possibly the, one of the most difficult singular corners on the track. Um, very easy to run wide and invalidate a time there, so uh, you've got to be very precise. And oh, Zach with another snap of oversteer um, coming out of Beckett's there. Drivers seeming to be struggling with that sort of area, and um, Zach definitely struggling with traction out there. F1 Legend Ooh, F1 seems Legend to have dropped off. Very wide there. Zach and, and Zach pulls into the pits. Can he make it a Renault 1 2? Let's see. No, 26 9. Track evolution around, around uh, Silverstone is quite good, so. Now we have our furry own, the man, the myth, the legend, the Matrix, starting his lap, I believe. Come on, you flying fin. Yeah, Matrix, a, a loved member of Contest of Speed, has to be said. Uh, puts a lot of practice like to lick in. his ass a bit, but sure. Yeah, <laughs> very loved member, puts a lot of practice in, a lot of effort. Um, at, so, at one point, whilst this... on controller, was one of the fastest guys in Contest of Speed, even though he was only in Tier 2. Uh, but he's gone over to wheel. A lot of practice has been put in. Uh, and now he's his... extremely quick. The fastest first sector so far. I don't know if it's the glitch, but... Fastest first sector. Yeah, I think it is. It's after staying on the screen, so... But as... At the, at the start of this game, Matrix... You know, myself, I was able to keep up with Matrix or even pass him a good... A good, a good amount of time. Ooh, Matrix spins going into... Cops. No damage, just locks up, and those tires will be absolutely shredded like cheese. Jonathan's on a good lap. Oh, but Jonathan invalidates, unfortunately. What about Dummy? He's in first yeah. sector, the Austria winner. Let's see if he can put himself into first position. Dummy with that little cheeky Austria win. Fastest first sector so far. The track does seem to be gripping up a bit now. And I have a few predictions from uh, Big Slater. He's, uh, he's told me in a text message that Paul will be 25 9. 25 could 9? Be, could be 25 8, I reckon. Uh, but I reckon it'll be oh, lower, oh, judging oh, off the bank a lot. What so about Deso? Yeah. William Deso, I think he's gonna cross the line now to finish his lap. Lewis goes P3. Very good lap. I want 26.229. A very good lap from Desso there. Uh, went under the radar a bit there, unfortunately. I didn't quite Marty catch on the stream. But... the line now. Last, yeah. last sector. 126.3. Complete the second row. We have Ghoul, who has 
think he invalidated his last lap, so I think he's going to go for another one now. Uh, we've got some inside information that Zach is going to start on the mediums, which means he won't uh, start outside the top ten or on the medium side. Qualify on the medium side, and uh, with only twelve, with only twelve drivers here, uh, very safe strategy has to be said. The reverse strategy. Um, Lewis now on his lap, he's up, up half a tent, runs a little bit wide going into what's that section called again? That's uh. Bluffield. Bluffield and Woodcut. Yes. I think. As you can see, we're very prepared. Yep. Great commentators. Oh, oh he invalidates, well. unfortunately. It seems I've done it once or twice now. If you go up on that apex too much going through tops, um, the car kind of seems to get pushed out wide a lot more than if you kind of just touch it. I just, that's what I've seen with this, with these lads anyway, I know they're trying to get as quick as they can, but I, I've found it myself, whenever you go on that apex and hit one of those little sausage curbs, your car just bursts out to the left, and you go on that apex. I think Lewis is going to go for another lap, obviously, because the tyres isn't too bad around here, it's an easy one-stop, quite boring. Um, don't know about weather. Right now, but interestingly, Bosman's out on mediums, and Zach said he would start on mediums. So does that mean there's rain? Oh, right in the race? Lewis went for another lap, but he invalidated turn one. He cut it too much. He'll be shooting himself in the foot there a bit. Yeah, as you see, Gil uh, approached the finish line to set a oh. session best so far of a 125.9. Great lap from Gil there on a. On those soft tyres, and that's the, the sort of times we're expecting now uh, from the drivers as they uh, as we approach the last sort of runs. Um, yeah, I have just noticed that the Renaults, the two Renaults, are very close together. So whether they're trying some sort of so tow. Um, we, we have Osman on the mediums in 12th, and Matrix now is starting his uh, second flying lap trying. Hopefully to get the time up there on the board. Did a little bit of a snap back end there, but not too major. Yeah, I'm sticking with the two Renaults at the moment. Zef1 Legends seems to be a big fan of following a driver very close behind during qualifying, which is an interesting tactic. But um... there could be, there could be a bit of a strategy towards that. Oh, definitely. Uh, the slipstream we'll gain on the straight a, will be yeah. significant. However, it's more the dirty air I fear of for his Matrix sake. took cops brilliantly there. Intro maggots and peanuts. Brilliant through there. He had the fastest first sector, so I didn't see his second sector, unfortunately. Coming up now into Stowe, hopefully he doesn't run wide. Locks up a tiny bit into Stowe. Ooh, runs, yeah, it runs very wide and into the pits. Yeah, he went in a little bit too quick. Osman now coming through. Back to Beckett's now. Jonathan's oh, unfortunately, he invalidates. Yeah, I'm going over to Jonathan, who is going into um, Vale. And this should hopefully no. challenge for pole as he crosses the line Ooh. and sets a 125.9, which is... Tense. Eight thousandths of a second clear uh, of Gil's time. Dommy's come through Stowe now, sorry to interrupt. Bale now, whatever it's called. Dommy lap the around. BRS goes across the line, set a 126.1. And the lap times are very close from uh, from the top six drivers. Uh, inside information for Lewis, if you, are, if you do know uh, Competitive, competitive F1 scene. Lewis is one of the fastest drivers in the game. Unfortunately, he normally uh, uses a line, and yes. that's disallowed here. So Lewis will not be as dominant as uh, usually is. As he usually is, which gives the other people a bit of breeding. Deso now going through Maggots Beckett's and F1 Legend has retired on track. He has indeed, which is very unfortunate for his sake. Very naughty. 
SNO, I think he, oh yeah, he has, oh he's on his outlap. Apologies. He's coming around to start his lap and we'll, yeah. we'll stay on board, see how he does. I'll actually go into an onboard view and we'll, Use. Deso will be our uh, voluntary tour of this wonderful track. So we go through Abbey here, fast right and they're very careful not to cut it on the inside. Followed by a fast left hander flat out into this right hander, which I can't remember what the name is. Village. I know, brilliant. Village. Then the loop, I think it's called, which is the left hander and through. Um, Aintree. Aintree, Aintree, that's the one. Down the Wellington Straight and into Luffield, the long left hander, very difficult uh, braking zone there, especially to these drivers who are not using ABS uh, and through Woodcut. Very careful on the traction there, very easy to spin out. So we go up the old pitch straight here and through Cops, which is usually a flat out corner. Bit of lift there from there, so you've got to be very precise to uh, manage that corner flat out. Now the fast left, right, left, right of Maggots and Beckett, and he's seem well. seemingly nailed that down fast the hangar straight. Past the second sector from Desso up into Stowe, one of my least favourite corners on the game, but he takes it Keeps like a champ, nice up into the hardest braking zone on the track in my opinion, Vale, with uh, a quick left right hander cutting the right hander well, a bit of oversteer into the last line. by a quarter of a tent. Yeah, not, not enough to um, gain the money to get him to See now, we have fuel on his outlap, and I don't think he'll make the line. Yeah, he won't, unfortunately. Uh, Motti now on lap, so is used. He's come across the line now. I see where he lands. Uh, used, I think, invalidated on that lap, so we've got another one now. Uh, Lewis now on his lap as well. Let's see if Big Boy Lewis can improve. Yeah. It's going down the Wellington straight here with that absolutely gorgeous camera angle, has to be said. It is a nice track, I'm not going to lie. Oh, in my opinion, it's one of the best tracks to drive on the calendar. I'm just not very good at it, unfortunately, so... Uh... <laughs> Neither am I, to be honest. <laughs> Zach is coming in a good lap with the medium setting at the stone. I nearly had a podium here last season, but I got damaged, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll switch to Zach. He runs wide slightly into Stowe. Um, Marty coming into Stowe now as well. But he shouldn't have invalidated his lap there too badly. And on mediums. Yeah, on the medium tyre. Can he get into the top ten? He can. Into ninth place, 126.8 on the mediums. Great lap from Zach the there. Now. 126.2 proves by oh, just over half a tenth. Yeah, well, we have Lewis now coming into Vale. It's that. It's that. Short shifts to fourth. Gets the power down. Minimizes to the line and up he goes. Very good lap by Lewis. 126.2. Oh, and yeah. Ghoul has died somewhere. Both men invalidated, unfortunately, and so did Matrix. So those two lads can start on whatever tyre they please. I mean, has to be said, uh, very impressive from Lewis there. Uh, now, and I'm just going to cut across. Slater told me that the pole lap will be a 126.908, and he was one thousandth of a second off that. Wow. <laughs> very good prediction. Then. Now, Slater, as we have seen from last night, is an alien, so could be why. It was very close to yesterday's pole climb as well, I think. Bruce to the 125.894. Wow. We've got a few Joseph. Domi fans in the chat. And with the end of qualifying, that brings me on to uh, what are our predictions. So, whilst you think of them, I'll run through the qualifying results. So, we've got Jonathan on pole with a very impressive 125.9. Uh, Gill alongside him with a 125.915 on the 8 thousandths of a second behind him. Domi behind them. Uh, Desso into fourth. Lewis without a line has to be said. Very impressive qualifying there for him into fifth place with a 126.2. Uh, 
Motti in 6th place, Yost in 7th, F1 Legend 8th, Knight is Zach on the medium tyre, one to look out for, Passy in 10th, Matrix and Boseman in 11th and 12th, not setting a lap time. So, in the chat, get your predictions in for the top 3 uh, drivers to finish tonight. And... Stumpy said, look at P12 and early cried cookie, we'll understand what it means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, predictions, you two. What are our top three going to be? Well, I reckon, obviously, Ghoul is quick enough, do you know. Um, it's, uh, I reckon it's going to be Jonathan Eust and Ghoul. Very interesting. Yeah, uh, I believe uh -huh. Jonathan is able yeah. to take the win too because yesterday he seemed very quick and I think Gil yeah. would be my prediction for second. If you remember last race, he had the last lap collision with, was it Roy? Yeah, I think it was Roy, so he'll be hungry to get back on the podium. Yeah, he uh, he did have, um, in Austria as well, he did have lots of penalties. In Austria, he had over, I think it was 19 seconds. So, I think he'll be hoping to uh, not have 19 seconds today. <laughs> uh, as Raikkonen said, Jonathan win, but he will have a penalty, which I kind of agree with. Like, Jonathan, he's quick, but he does get the odd penalty here or there. So, yeah, 10 he, seconds yesterday. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see. Matrix on hard, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah, Matrix did hards. I don't know. This is this is interesting because Matrix did hards in Austria when he started outside. No, he sorry, he joined late in quali, so he started on hards in the race. And he he just dropped severely back. So I don't know what he's up to now with these hards again. Matrix may be playing for a very conservative strategy, hoping for a uh... top ten. A very, a very late safety car that can put him up a few positions. Um, but yeah, my prediction for the top three is going to be. Uh, admittedly, I don't know much about these drivers, uh, as we said. So I'm just going to just going to go for it. Really, uh, I'm going to go with Jonathan P1, Deso P2, and Gil P3. Uh, so we. As we uh, are on this formation lap going through Stowe and approaching the line uh, to get this race in the way. Um, don't know what it's going to lead on to there. Not going to work. Messed that up. But, uh, once look out for this race, definitely Jonathan on the, you know, he's he's, he's, on, he's the fastest driver in qualifying. You've got you to keep an eye on him. Um, ninth uh, in Zach. On the medium tyre, the only one on the medium starting, as we said, uh, and Matrix in P11, the only hard runner, the rest are on soft tyres. So as the drivers take their place on the grid, <coughs> and we line up, we are five red lights, and... Wait for the glitch. Wait for the glitch. Right, and we we're off. <laughs> yeah. uh, very good start from Jonathan there, uh, covering off the inside well, and we are through. Apart from oh, Passy is round. Both went off. Yeah, both of them are off. So Passy the Lewis in Hamilton the on us. Sand, uh, but we go back to the leaders and. Domi has overtaken Gill and Desso has dropped down to fifth with Lewis overtaking him. Um, so Matrix into the points. <laughs> yeah, Matrix into the points. Gill and so Domi far. are side by side going through Woodcut. Gill got the inside line. Who can do the better on traction? And Gill takes the control of that battle for the moment, but this is allowing Jonathan to gain a bit of a steady lead at the front of the race, trying to get I out of DRS zone, which would be crucial here. Um, Oh, Jonathan loses it. Oh, and Jonathan's expected. off. Jonathan this is, is off. So we've had three fatalities so far in the first lap. 
Sat on the back F1 legend now. It's going to go up for the, in, off the inside and stow on the mediums. Brakes late, turns in. A bit of oversteer. Yep, so that force Monty goes for the dive on the Alpha. Oh, used. Monty comes out of it though. Zach, <coughs> excuse me. Zach has legend. So we'll go back to the front where Gil leads. Uh, five tenths clear of Dommy. Uh, got the overtake done round Woodcut and then took the lead as Jonathan made a mistake in Maggots and Beckets which uh, uh, relegated him down to ninth. Lewis is indeed in third place as a result of he Jonathan's incident. There. Yeah, so as a move, used up two and Zach up two. Jonathan unfortunately down eight places, but as we know, he is quick, so. So, now Jonathan going for the dive on his Renault teammate. And we're looking at the battle between the Yost outside, and so. Desso, and Yost has taken P4 from Desso. Uh, so Desso sort of falling back from the, uh, back through the grid here. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan and F1 Legend going into the. Ooh, bit of tyre banging. Luckily they go Good Steiner. <laughs> Maybe shouting at them again. Teammates banging. I know it's the wrong team, but. It's like the Hasses. Last season. Now, something to look out for here is that Gil and Domi are almost outside the DRS range or Lewis, which will be crucial for their. Uh, for their potential duel for the next 25. or 24 laps, sorry. Lewis runs a bit. Obviously, with Lewis having no racing line, he will be trying his best to keep in that uh, DRS. But these lads obviously are most likely more used to being on no racing line. So, D Dummy with the fastest laps of from 3.0. Lewis on the brink of being outside of DRS range, and Lewis is a, indeed now a tenth away from that DRS uh, zone. Close line, close on to the back of Matrix. We want to get into that, and unfortunately Lewis hasn't gained DRS, so it'll be it'll be a job to um, to get back into that zone. We'll go back to the battle between Matrix and Boseman, and Boseman up the inside of Luffield and getting moved on easy. I think Matrix is just coasting around, hoping for incidents ahead, and then a potential late safety car later on. Jonathan's got a really good run on Zach, heading into Cops, maybe too wide through there, on the inside. Zach yeah, first. too wide. Uh, Jonathan getting the overtake done on Cops, up the inside there, I think Zach backing away, Zach knowing that he's the in, the be in the better position on the medium tyre, uh, looking at the long term race results. We'll have the DRS now. Uh, he's just saving his DRS at the moment. Zach yep. is just trying to sit behind him on those mediums. Ghost getting the move done on Lewis into Stowe before the corner uh, is even in sight. So, very Martin easy move from Ghost there in DRS. We've seen a sort and interestingly, the top two have fallen back into DRS range of uh, the chasing pack which could compromise their uh the one to give domination to this race but at the front at the front we have a six car train half the field is in one train it's a bit, bit of a drs train there and all forming up indeed and Jonathan in seventh has his own well only Zach behind him. F1 Legend, Matrix and Passy in the back there all a bit spread out, so Oh Zach runs very wide going into cops. It's a bit of oversteer I think. He falling off the back of Jonathan now a little bit. Back to eight tenths of a gap, we'll have DRS but was within two or three tenths at one point, so you'll be looking to get that gap back. As Stumpy says, choo choo, that is very appropriate. I am the fat conductor. <laughs> what I'm impressed by so far is the intelligence of Zaki. Let, let Jonathan by through cops, and now he's just staying within DRS range and keeping up with 
up to pace with the soft runners on his medium tyres because of DRS. So very, very smart driving from Zach there down in eighth place, and one that should be kept in mind for the uh, for a fight through the field by the end of the race. Uh, we'll go back to the front of the grid, who are just about to start down the Wellington Straight. Uh, Gill on very low ERS, only 20%, so uh, using quite a bit of ERS to stay at the front of the pack. Um, Dommy's still on the back of <coughs> Gill. Yeah, Dommy with a much better ERS advantage over Gill um, and all the drivers behind. Uh, saving ERS apart from Yost, who is struggling. Oh, runs very, very slow into cops. Donnie gets a very easy overtake off. A bit like it's Beckett. I'm not sure whether Gill made a mistake there or actually meant it. He might have been uh, wanting Dommy to get past so he could save ERS, which he is doing Maybe. now down the hangar straight. And uh, I've heard from people you don't actually want to be in the lead in this game because you're using fuel, using ERS and you're going to be big slow in the end of the race that is for definite so we've got no real overtaking going on but it's because the drivers are just playing the long game saving ERS and waiting for mistakes from people ahead of them um, I think F1 Legend made a mistake he's 3 seconds now off sacks already cut across um, yeah he used three, 3 seconds now off sack yeah, another thing to take note of with the Renault, not of F1 Legend, but of Jonathan, uh, clearly showing some great pace after his mistake in Maggots and Beckett's on the first lap. He's back within DRS range of this lead group. Uh, unfortunately, Zach is outside of DRS range now, so he'll be wanting to get back in and uh, keep up to pace with these with these lead runners. It will be interesting to see when the pit stops start producing mediums do last a long way around to uh, we'll see who can initiate the undercut. Yep, certainly. The uh, medium tyres run for a long time, but you have to be very careful with them. They do have a uh, tendency to want to uh, overheat and eventually pop. Um, Desso getting very close to the back of Lewis there for a second. But this is a massive train. Um, they're literally just following each other. Choo -choo. There's no overtaking. Oh, never mind. Boastman and F1 Legend Boastman gets F1 Legend through Stowe. And the first one to make the decision to pit is Massey. Um, so he's looking for the undercut on the drivers ahead of him. Boastman making a mistake through. Uh, that club there, actually. Yeah, um, marking onto the mediums. Very good. Yeah, I think med these lads now, considering how, if their tyres are good or bad, but no safety cars, they'll probably be pitting now within the next lap or two. Um, the, the softs, if you had one lap on them, would get you easy enough. Comfortably nine laps, but you'd want to be pitting their own lap eight, or this lap. To make most, to make more of the pace. I found it myself. I was quick on the tire, well, quick for my tier. <laughs> um, up until lap nine. Um, so imagine cups. Boston made a mistake. Wheel to wheel. But if one legend runs wide, then lets it pass. If we're now on the back of him again, we'll get the DRS up. I've been I've been watching Jonathan a bit. He's um he's taken half of these corners off road. He's taken a lot of apex. You know he he's going very wide as well at the stove. Jonathan into the pits. Stetson into the pits. Tommy into the pits. Oh, good. He's just about held it. Contact with you, said the last two. Yeah, I thought they was making a move into no the trail there. Unfortunately, the camera angle did not catch Lewis going, I think, round the outside there, but uh, on the sounds of it, made contact and uh, almost lost it, but thankfully so didn't. Yeah, so Dami Jonathan, Desso on the mediums. Um, so, yeah, medium so far. The light matrix now, P6. But he will have 
again the pace disadvantage because the mediums are way faster on the hards throughout the whole race these hards will also be a lot more worn than the mediums so they're going to be twice as slower so I don't know if he's banking <coughs> excuse me on a safety car to go on to softs or he just could be doing hard soft I don't know I am at his mate the undercut that's Desso in right on the tail of his teammate now. Yeah, I was just about to mention that, and hopefully these Red Bulls, for their sake, will be uh, wanting to work together and just keep each other within DRS range of each other and maybe gain on uh, Gil and Yost while they have the chance to. So, um, this could be a vital point in the race as Gil in pits indeed, and Lewis stays out an extra lap. Uh, Zach, of course, stays out, so Zach is. Uh, going to be in the lead of this race for a bit. Ooh, F1 Legend with 5 seconds beating in the pit lane. Oh, that is nearly interesting. So, Tommy at the moment is in an FP1, if I'm correct. Yeah. So, Ghoul Juice onto the mediums there now. F1 Legend onto the pit, into the medium, sorry. I'd just like to keep an eye on where Gil is going to come out. Compared to the Red Bulls, it's going to be very close. And Gil and has been overtaken by Domi. Domi getting the undercut done well. Oh no, no, he keeps the so lead. Sorry. But now Mossy right up the back of Gil. So, Gil in a sort of Red Bull sandwich at the moment. And um, Domi will be wanting to get outside of DRS range as quick as possible or hoping his teammate mounts an attack. So they can gain the advantage of having two cars within the same two positions of each other. Um, Usually they've broken the DRS to Yost. You need to push yes. back in the train. Yeah, Yost will definitely have to do so, but he's not got much ERS to spare. Only 40% left in uh, Yost's ERS. He has been struggling to keep up with Probably the front. Uh, 33% DR, uh, DRS, DRS, sorry. Yep, so Domi I think what Domi the path again. he's trying to do now is break that DRS because if he can break that he can chill out and stay up there and you know he's in an MP1 like so I think um, Goo is just charging up his ERS because he knows Domi will be using his fuel and ERS a lot more so than Goo so he might just charge up one two laps and then go all out that's kind, of, that's kind of the strategy for this game that I've kind of seen. Stay in the DRS, charge up everything, and then go for it, and then put a gap. And that's kind of the, the what I've seen. I mean, this is kind of the fun of the game. Like, Lewis is really this one. That's so interesting. He was right behind Lewis. Wow. Seeing the rap later has cost him dearly. Yeah, Lewis suffering there from the undercut, uh, working very Lewis well. Lewis now lost four places. So your net leader is Domi at the moment. We've got an IGK 1, 2, 3, 4 net lead at the moment. Um, with Domi, Gil, Motti and Yost. Uh, so looking dominant in, uh, in the elite tier so far, the IGK group, as to be expected. Uh, but, I mean, my favourite driver to keep an eye on at the moment is definitely Zach. Um, what he can do on the soft tyres will be crucial. Unfortunately for him, he will have to make it through one of the longest DRS trains. Uh, in comparison to how many drivers are here. Ever. And that will be unfortunate for him. Uh, as it will be a lot tougher to make his way through the field and uh, gain positions on the softer compound attire. So Yost setting the fastest lap of the race so far with the 129.4, very quick. Uh, as well. Jonathan then replies, definitely. Aymati is in a bit of a trouble here because he has a penalty and he's on the verge of getting another one. Oh. to everyone else who is clean so, so far, yeah. Uh, don't remind me, Alp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <Brazil> too. Yeah. 
Yeah, Stumpy just confirming he'd be a lapped car by now, which I can only agree with. I think I would be as well, to be honest. I'd be I'm twice as slow as Stumpy, so I'd be probably be what, three laps. <laughs> As you see F1 Legend and Boseman continuing their duel for the uh, last points playing position side by side through Woodcut. F1 Legend getting a snap of oversteer on the exit, allowing Bo Boseman to uh, gain the lead. But they are side by side going into Cops. Boseman keeps it around the outside and that is beautiful driving from the two of them, allowing each other room. They're still side by side going into Maggots and Beckett's. F1 Ooh, Legend keeps the it up the dummy, inside. Sorry. Gould straight away up in third. He has 80% ERS. He's been charging there now for a few laps, so. Postman F1 Legend still going to get it. So much respect between these two. Into Stone. Let's see if the McLaren can hold it round the outside, and he does. Stump <coughs> Stumpy, I'd be four or five laps that by now. Yeah, Postman doing an incredible job there. Both drivers really uh, providing what has to be the best uh, battles of the night so far for the 10th place position. Um, it's a great driving from these two and I can only see it continuing uh, for the rest of the race to be honest. Uh, both drivers laughing at very similar lap times. And, uh, and as we just jump to Jonathan and Lewis side by side into Woodcourt. Very popular overtaking zone uh, for the first 12 laps of tonight. Lewis now on the back of Jonathan going into Stowe. Jonathan oh, Jonathan picks up his first penalty. His first penalty. Yeah, Jonathan, he's 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 taking a lot of dirt there going into these corners. So I would it wouldn't surprise me now if he uh, if he gets penalties a lot more. So Lewis now with the DRS on the back of Jonathan. I think he's just saving though. Yeah, he is. Look to move yet. Both Red Bulls are all right over the back here. of Gale. Uh, so Stumpy asked me for the penalty situation, so passing it in three seconds. Um, I believe it is Motti with six seconds out. Uh, no, it's three seconds when he's very close to the end. I can yes. check. Zach has two warnings, Matrix has two warnings. Gil has a warning, Dami has a warning, Ayamati has a penalty and two warnings, wow. Yost has a warning, that's so clean, so he has the Golden Wizard reward so far. Jonathan he has the Wizard reward so far. Speaking of Desso, he's under pressure from Jonathan here. Jonathan looking for a move around the outside of Luffield, which, which will really then turn into the uh, inside of Woodcut, and who can get the better traction out of this corner? Oh, they touch wheels a bit. It's yeah. hard failure. The They're going to go too wide. These, this, this is a bit ballsy. They touch a bit. Jonathan gets the move done. Jonathan getting the move done, and it's. Uh, yeah, so will have the DRS done. Going into the straight there. Yeah, but so will Jonathan. Takes back his back. It's very good. A massive Has a good DRS run now, on Jonathan. Great traction there, on Jonathan. Now up the straight. Oh, and F1 Legends retired. He's died. On track. By the looks That's of all Jonathan going in, Jonathan pushed him up wide a little bit. Yeah, the flag in Can he go for the dive into the chicane? No, he will not. These drivers need to focus on the, uh, on the bigger on picture, the eh? Lewis with a nice bit of ERS in his uh, bank there. Fair play to Passy as well. Keeping it on the road. Yeah, Passy unfortunately involved in the lap one incident, which sent him into the uh, into the sand uh, on the exit of the Abbey. Um, so um, that's why he's so far behind. But we'll keep up the racing in this DRS train, which is the majority of drivers that are involved in this session are all involved, uh, all in this. So. Um, they were announced retires now that Passy could get points here. Not wrote the Italian yet. Pizza at the pasta. That wasn't racist at all. Lewis, Lewis picks Ooh. up three seconds there. Oh, Lewis. 
And uh, that'll be vital with the drivers so close to each other. Um, it's like it's like a it's like a, a late safety car. Everyone's so much. And penalties will have a huge factor then on you know standings. So I've been looking at Zach's pace and he's been matching his teammate Rami. So it'll be interesting interesting to see where he comes out. I think it's interesting to see his pit so Patriots early. Pass, no. You should get past. Tommy you should get past. But no, in fairness, though, if he's on these softs and if he's quick, Major picks up three seconds. Cuts turn one a little bit too much, I think. Yeah, in in, in my Zach practice, um, the softs could only really go about ten laps. Uh, well, at, at a push as well. Yeah, well, well, with any with any de with any decent sort of race pace, but I mean I'm. I'm not brilliant with tyres, so. Uh. <laughs> no, neither. So, Google now on the back, a lot on the back behind Matrix, and obviously Matrix on the old hards, these mediums. Oh, you're relatively. Just about oh, to. Bit of touching. There you go. I am not, he seems to be dropping off the back of his teammate, Domi, ahead of him, and uh, in danger of becoming the split. Of this DRS train, um, well, he still has quite a bit of ERS. He might want to be using it. Um, Marco, I think uh, in which he is to catch up. I think Blue Dolly have uh, have some warnings. I'm not sure if they have a penalty yet. Um, you never know. So can have some more. Both samples up three seconds. This is the uh, six seconds now. Oh, he runs a little bit wider and she can. Oversteer. Tires are getting a bit pitchy now. Now, if Matrix doesn't pit in the next couple of laps, he could cause an absolute kerfuffle. I think Matrix should just pit now because he's just getting slower and slower. Last lap, it was 4.3 seconds. Now it is 3.1 seconds. If he did, he should just pit now. Yeah, the, I think that was Matrix. Matrix strategy. It's not gonna work though, even, at the, even at the start of the race, was to hope for a safety car late on. And well, um, well he is losing a second a lap. But like these lads are good drivers. Do you know what I mean? They're not going to be going tier three, going help for letter into every corner, crashing and you know yourself. Do you know, I, I don't, I don't see where he's coming from going after the hearts. He's going to be twice as slow, and he's banking on something that necessarily might happen. It's very kind of hit or miss, you know. Well, I mean, Matrix. Uh, I don't think you mind me saying this, but he is he is learning uh, constantly, uh, yeah. and he's not as quick as what he used to be. Uh, but he is getting there, and I think he's just Matrix he's just trying up. different things to uh, other drivers to try and gain positions that he might not have done if he was on a conventional uh, a routine strategy. Is we see Yost getting past Moss, uh, Mossy uh, into Vale and Yost now looking to gain to the back of Domi and Gill before the DRS activa activation point. Uh, trying to get back into DRS and he's very close. Uh, Mossy losing positions, of looking Ooh, very Mark, uncomfortable. Three again. Oh, you just moved out of the way. Uh, uh, Sector 1 yellow. Not sure what's happening. Yeah, I think he might have, might have lost the back end there. Oh, and, uh, no, it's, it's around the outside. That's it. That runs right. Yeah, and uh, Gil has indeed caught up to the back of Matrix, and Matrix, as he goes back through the field, or oh, through the train that has been caused. So now, second class, so it was in a lap. Ghoul has closed up two seconds in the lap. I don't know what Matrix is trying to do. Obviously, he's trying to help his teammate here. Yeah, just because he's catching him. He's really held up here in Matrix. Yeah, definitely. It's a good point uh, there, Alf. I didn't think about that, actually. And, uh, you just hold him up. This is definitely now on the back of these, these two front... Uh, two front... Runners, net lead from runners. 
passing into the points for the Ferrari. Go on, Passy. Just shows Good what. Thing. Uh, Juice staying. picks up three seconds. I believe that is his first penalty. Yeah, Passy gonna get at least a point out of this race, which just shows what staying on, in a Passy. race does uh, for your potential cool, though, finishing the points the at the end. I think Gould will just be charging his ERS and fuel. Gone to pass Desso now. You know, Gill will be looking to get past Matrix as quick as possible because he'll be, he doesn't want to be getting slowed down into the back, into the pack too much. Now Gill looking vulnerable. And Domi getting the move done before Cops, and that's why Gill needed to get the uh, the move done on Matrix as quick as possible because it has allowed Domi to gain the lead of the race, and with only eight laps remaining, uh, that could be a very crucial point of the race. Now Domi looking indeed up the inside of Matrix. And now Domi will be hoping that Matrix slows down Gill again so Domi can break out of the DRS range and maybe try and coast to the to the victory of the race. Domi going for his second consecutive win, but Gill might be looking to make a move into turn one. Yeah, indeed, very risky business, but he has to get the move done, and he gets it done. Now, Matrix... That's his teammate game. That's, that's just a... Oh, he... oh, Jonathan hits Matrix. Oh, Matrix hits Lewis going into the... going into the spin round. No. Matrix, what are you doing, man? It's unfortunate for Matrix there. I don't know what he was doing, he slowed down so much and just came back on track very foolishly. And look at what Matrix has done, the front three now are all split by one second, they're all on the edge of the DRS uh, range of each other, so... Using goal for the DRS to break one second again. Yeah, Jonathan getting a move done on Desso, uh, up into third place. Uh, Jonathan with a very good recovery drive after his incident into... Uh, this same section on lap one, uh, as he was the pole sitter at the start of the race, dropped down to ninth, I believe it was, um, after missing a, drive so far away, John. missing a turning point there. But Domi and Gill looking very similar with lap times at the moment. That that one second uh, split has been in a, so in the whole way round. I believe Yost has so from wing damage and he's coming to the pits. Oh. And it picks up five seconds as well. And we can buy tires. So, uh, Marty unfortunately had a problem with his wheel, so that's why he couldn't continue. That is unfortunate. You, you can never rely on technology kids. Good old fashioned controller is what you need. Um, do we Not know? Right if, yeah, do we know if Matrix had any wing damage? He is in the pit. He does, yeah, he does. He took up the when he hit Lewis, he got lots of wing damage. Well, if he, should, if he shouldn't retire, he's getting points here. Passy up into 8th place now. Fair play to Passy. Oh, Lewis runs right again. Into Brooklyn. Still fighting with Tessa. Since the beginning of this game. Yeah, Lewis not Lewis looking... Uh, expectedly, Lewis not looking as uh, confident uh, with his driving uh, without the racing line. But that's to be expected as he has had no practice and this is his racing line. So... Still a very alien performance from Lewis, has to be said, to get a P5 in this tier. And uh, keep in mind, he still has on the back of the vessel. Uh, I believe Lewis was racing in the Nations Cup 30 minutes before this race, so oh. he'll be used to racing with the line. And, uh, oh, as he runs wide into Stowe, Sorry, wide along there, with Dessa. Gills made a mistake at the last corner. Runs very wide. I think that should allow Jonathan back in DRS. Goes up a bit more, yeah. Well, Jonathan is on 8% DRS, so. I mean, all drivers using up as much DRS as possible if they are outside of the DRS zone. With the driver ahead, trying to get claw their way back into the, um, into the crucial DRS zone. 
And look at how far Gill's dropped off Domi, almost a second in the past two laps. So, uh, crucial there. And now Jonathan has caught up with him, which means that he is right involved now with the middle pack, uh, is, is Gill. Yeah, don't forget to Jonathan, there's a penalty for doing better, Jonathan. He needs to make this move. Oh, right almost side-by-side, side, I think, through Cops there, oh. but Lewis backs out. Uh, He's dropping the death, huh? drastically off to Jonathan Ryan, five, seven tenths now. Right, we'll go back up to Gill and see if Jonathan can mount an attack uh, down the hangar straight. I think he's a bit too far behind, I think he's also trying to gain ERS uh, as much as possible to mount an attack maybe on the last couple of laps. However, as Alp said, he does have penalties, uh, which Gil does not. So he's going to want to get the move done early and try and break away from Gil as soon as possible. Uh, definitely has a pace to do so. Fastest driver on track in qualifying. Uh, let's see if we can replicate that in the final few laps of this race. I'm pretty sure everyone in the top five, bar Gul, is Gul? Yes, Gul has penalties. Sure. Does Domi have a penalty? So. He does, he does. He got five seconds in the Premier League, but he might serve. Lewis goes for the dive on, on Deso. Again, a little bit of contact there. Just a little bit of, an L, a, little bit of a kiss. Getting his elbows out. Has to be said, Zach not doing as well on the softs as I expected him to do. So, just just showing what the DRS can do around this track, and uh, the fact the mediums can keep up. Oh, Zach. Uh, Zach running wide. I think Bozeman going to go fast as that because he has 100% DRS. So I don't know what he's up to. Yeah, Bozeman maybe going for the fastest lap, as you said. Uh, I mean, he's got nothing else to play Ooh, for. Jonathan, him. No, up in second. Yeah, through Stowe, and now Jonathan trying to gain on Domi. If Domi does have five seconds, that means Gill at the moment is in P1, right. net P1. However, Lewis. Up the inside of Abby. Whoa. What a move. And that is a great yeah, move from the Lewis there, a confident move. Uh, and very well done from Lewis. Up into the podium positions. Uh, not sure about the penalty situation, but I mean, Gil Lewis might seconds, Gil much. might still be in a net P1 here. <laughs> uh, I believe I'm just right, I'm okay. Better in fact, yeah, Jonathan and Lewis are going to have to break away here uh, if they want to keep the positions that they are currently operating in. Um, so we'll, we'll go over to Domi. Domi just cruising through Maggots and Beckett. It's very smooth there, looking for his second win in a row in the EU Elite tier. Is this the first time in the Elite tier that a driver's won twice? There's only been three races. There we go. <laughs> so, first double winner of, uh, of the Contest of Speed EU Elite tier is looking to be Domi at the moment, if he can keep his cool yeah, in the last few laps. Uh, well, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to keep it interesting out. You never know, commentators curse. Pass the piece off in three seconds. He does uh, pass he in his own little race at the moment, as we said. Uh, but running Red in. And at P8, not really been anywhere near the battles, unfortunately, for himself after his lap one incident. So. Lewis has got a really good plan, Jonathan, but he decides to save his race. I go for a late, late lap or two lunge there. I think Lewis is is kind of hoping Jonathan will maybe drag him along. So, yeah. Gu with the fastest first sector so far. Just there, I think he got a bit of a good lap here. Good exit coming off there now. So we have the train for 
from second down to almost sixth, Zach is gaining uh, very slowly on the on the train ahead, but uh, he's gaining on the last. He's gaining about five tenths of a second in the past few laps, so he'll be he'll be in and amongst it soon. I'm not sure about his penalty situation, but uh, we should find out from the end of the race. I've noticed quite a few drivers um, running wide at Stowe. Uh, yeah. Maybe the lack of maybe the lack of tyre grip at the end of this this race is having a real struggle. Those mediums will be piping hot at the moment. Uh, so. Jonathan's awarding away from getting another penalty, so he needs to be cautious. Yeah, but Jonathan. He hasn't got the best one. Lewis. Lewis now on the back of Jonathan. From the inside. Yeah, Lewis. Lewis. Puts, up, puts up three seconds again. Lewis it's getting the move done. done into Luffield and not allowing Jonathan to make a return attack um, on him into Woodcut. So, very good move there from Lewis. And now the hunt begins to try and bring down Dommy's what was three second league, but or lead but Domi seems to have dropped off the pace a little bit uh, the lap times just going down increasingly he's low on ERS and Lewis is will be in his uh, will be in his wind mirrors and Domi's looking nervous has to be said Lewis bit it two laps later than pretty much everyone else and he'll have the tire advantage by now Yep, Lewis is looking fast on these medium tyres and of course, as you said, they are two laps younger than the uh, opponent's tyre. So, maybe that, those two laps might have made the difference, but we start the last lap and Lewis is only one and a half seconds on Domi. Can he get into DRS range for the hangar straight? Uh, that's what he'll be looking to do in the next couple of sectors. Domi, of course hoping to stay ahead uh, and get his second win in this tier uh, in the meantime one, yeah Gil is Jonathan very close Jonathan only on a 13% so far and Gil with 43 so Gil will be looking for a big big push here Looks like Domi has found something extra in those tyres uh, and has, has actually gained a temp on uh, on Lewis. So maybe Lewis have a pull. Very good run. Very good run from the Mangan to Beckett. He's right on the back of Jonathan now. If he keeps it clean through here, oh, runs a little bit wide. Oh, that'll give Desso a chance when he went to the Yeah, Gil struggling in the dirty air of Jonathan. Maybe a bit too yeah, close behind so. him. And uh, allowing yeah, Desso to maybe make a move, a but no, this train stays as it is. So time, you know. we'll go Dommy over to the deal. race leader, it, which is IGK Domi, uh, and a another a dominant race win Woo! under Lewis. penalty. So Domi oh, takes Lewis the win. Gill in second, second place. Gill in second place, finishing in fourth on track, but penalties promoting him to third. Desso finishing fifth on track, promoted up to third uh, as a result of penalties. IGK Zach Dak. was down in. Five what, yeah, that's a, that's a great race from himself on the reserve on the reverse Lewis strategy. Lewis. Sorry, up to fourth place from sixth. Uh, Lewis down to fifth from what was a second place finish on penalties. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan as well drops to sixth. Boastman, who was involved in some great battles with F1 Legend, down to or finishing seventh. Uh, Passy, who's coming towards the line, was involved in the lap one incident and hadn't really looked to be in any him. sort of race, but keeps it on the track and finishes P8 no. for a steady four points in the Jesus. championship. And Matrix comes to cross the line after being involved in what was a very crucial moment in the race, uh, from, uh, which allowed Domi to actually break out a DRS range of Gil, uh, which allowed him to, or resulted in him winning the race. Uh, so a very, very smart race from all the drivers there, has to be said. Uh, 
but that was your EU Elite here. Uh, and it was a very, very good race. Unfortunately, not having as many drivers as we would have hoped. Um, but the drivers that did show up put on a great race nonetheless. Um, and all Italian podium as well. Fair no, one, Gil is Actually, French. No, yeah, <laughs> so two Italians on the podium and one uh, in Gil, which was French. So fastest lap was a 129.216 from Zach. So it'll be taking away the extra point there. Uh, get your driver of the day votes in. Uh, who's your driver of the day, Ben? I think Donny. I think Donny, yeah. Yeah, I think I've really with Domi so as well. Yeah, I've really with either Domi Zach or had a, Zach. Zach had a great race as well. Yeah, so those are the two. However, it is an IGK podium. Uh, to be expected, to be fair, I can... <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that was EU uh, Elite here. Uh, the pinnacle of Contest of Speed. No assist here. Um... Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed that and want more racing and happen to be up at 2 in the morning UK time or Please you're American try. and want to watch some racing later on in the day at 9pm uh, Eastern time, then tune in for one of the best tiers in Contest of Speed, in my opinion. And it's not only because I commentated there for a while, uh, but it is the America's tier. Some great racing there in which you will see Alp. Uh, fellow commentator uh, try and defend his driver's championship um, that will also be around Britain so thank you very much for watching uh, yeah that's it I'm going to say bye bye do you two want to say bye 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 Happy Happy yeah. yeah go watch Alpha win